All right, and I am done. Uh, so I just finished up listening to the fifth season, uh, part of the Broken Earth trilogy by N.K. Jemisin. And oh my gosh, I hated this book. This is the first one out of five star review that I've given on this YouTube channel. And I say that I finished this book. I did finish. Uh, I finished listening to it because I'm not going to finish actually getting to the end of it. Uh, I got to about 80% of the way through and I cannot suffer going through this book anymore. And I'm super frustrated because I've only heard good things. I actually haven't um, heard from any of my friends that have recommended this book, of which there are many, that this book is at least a four out of five stars. Um, almost all of them are five out of fives. And so my my I was so optimistic going into it. My expectations, I think, were high. And I think oftentimes it's not good to have high expectations when you go into things. But for me, hype can make something better or worse for me. And so... You know, I think I gave, I, I think I stayed longer in this book and tried to like it more than I normally would. I think I would have, would have quit out on this book much earlier um, had it not been for that hype factor. So I'm disappointed that I'm like the only person I know that that hated this book. Um, before I get into the things that I didn't like, I will say a couple things that I did like. One is um, I thought the audiobook version of this was very good. Um, the uh, the narrator was 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 very good. Uh, I thought that the she did a really good job at, I don't know the name of the person, but they did a really good job at um, differentiating the voices um, and you could really feel the characters um, and, and it was a compelling uh, narration. Um, I also thought that the world building at the beginning of this book was very fascinating. I found myself within the first couple chapters really entranced with this story and very, very much invested on learning more about this world um, and understanding you know, the direction things are going to go and ultimately the plot that this, this was going to drive. Um, I, I've never been a major apocalyptic fan in fantasy books. Um, and, and it's certainly not like an apocalypse, but it's it, it has those characteristics to it. Um, but I actually liked that part of it. Um, but ultimately, I didn't love the world building because I thought it got kind of stale. I, I, it didn't go further and investigate things at a quick enough pace for me to keep my interest. Um, so yeah, so like the plot initially, didn't like it as it went on. My biggest problem here is the writing style. Uh, it, I did not care for it at all. I Not only did I have a problem with the general structure of the way that the words were compiled with each other, um, I didn't, I hated this aspect that a decent portion of the book is in the second person. That is weird. It, that pulls me out of the story so hard. I, I bet if I finished this book or the series, I would understand why it's in the second person, but it just felt really disconnected from the whole story. And it's not the whole book that's in the second person. It's, you know, like a third of the book is in the second person. So you're jumping back and forth between first person and second person and it's strange. I mean, I think second person can work rather well in like video games, but in a book, I've never read a book that pulls off second person in a good way. Um, meanwhile, it was like playing with words and like like breaking the fourth wall sometimes, and it just felt disjointed. Uh, and I got no clear sense of uh, of why the author chose to do this, other than trying to do something that they thought was cool, and. I bet for some, I bet some people love it. I, I bet there's a lot of people that, that end up uh, reading this book that that's one of the things that they really enjoy about it. Uh, but for me, it, I certainly didn't like like that at all. Um, while I did not finish the book, I am confident that at the very end of the book, maybe the last chapter, there is a major plot twist that gets revealed wh where you're supposed to say, Oh! <gasps> Okay, let me. I want to go back and read this book now with this new understanding of this plot twist. But the plot twist was very evident from like the fourth chapter on. So evident that I actually thought that they revealed it to me earlier in the book. Um, it was so ham fisted what this plot twist was going to be. And if you're watching this and you're one of those people that say, like, Matt, you're being pretentious, I didn't know the plot twist you know, I'm sorry. And, and good for you. I, 
I'm the last person usually that picks up on plot twists. Um, I feel like slow compared to everybody else. And I like it that way. I don't want plots ruined for me. I love to get a good twist is one of my favorite features of a fantasy book. So I wish I was in that boat where I didn't understand. And, and I just got this, this reveal hit on me. Um, but it made it so much worse for me and I don't want to ruin anything, but I would. And so I'm going to say this, uh, a little carefully, but I feel like if the plot twist was revealed four or five chapters in, it certainly wouldn't have as big of an impact on the reader, but I felt like it would have helped the structure of the story significantly more. Um, it, I could understand things from a beginning, middle, and end. Whereas the choice that the author did here made it feel like there was no beginning or middle, and I'm guessing that there's no real end either. Um, and that's unfortunate. All in the name of trying to surprise the reader. And I wasn't surprised, so it didn't work. So the thing that they, they sacrificed a cohesive story to do something that didn't work for me. Um, and I felt that uh, frustrating. The characters themselves felt unrela unrelatable to me. And that's also unfortunate because I felt like I was one of the target audiences for what they were trying to get you to relate to. There's a lot of bad things that happen to children in this book. I'm a father of two. Um, I am one of the people that would see bad things happening to children and feel really connected with the characters that are upset at these moments happening. But maybe it's the writing style, but those emotional impacts didn't really get me. And, I, and I'm not like this stone-hearted person that doesn't get emotionally invested in my stories. I do, often. Um, it just didn't happen here. Um, I, well, part of the thing that made this unrelatable to me was... This, a lot of bad things happen in this book. And, and I like Grimdark. I love Grimdark. It might be my favorite subgenre of fantasy. Um, but what I, one of the things that I really enjoy about Grimdark is characters reflecting on these bad moments that happened and trying to internalize them, process them, grow from them, and try to get on with their lives... Um, even though they've been deeply scarred, um, traumatized, and how that impacts them and their relationships. Whereas in this book, horrific things would happen that a character might cause. And on the literal next page, it's like, oh, time to get on with the story. And it felt like what human being would ever have these things happen to them and not be deeply scarred by them. Um, one of the times it happens, it, it just shocked me at how quickly they moved on. And later on in the story, they came back and they did a little bit of it. But it was like too much time had passed. It didn't feel real to me. Um, so, I, yeah, I just I can't connect with this story. I, I understand and respect that a lot of people do. Um, I wouldn't recommend this book to people, but... You know, I, I get, I made, um, I, I just, I, I've talked to some friends a little bit about this as I've been going along with this and they've just been like so shocked that I wouldn't be into this. So I get it. If this is your thing, more power to you. It's not mine. Um, so that's my review. Hope I didn't disappoint you and thanks for watching.